Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Math Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to convert time measures from smaller to larger units and vice versa. Seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days, days to weeks, weeks to months, and months to years. Let's learn first the basic unit of time. Second, the unit of time in the second, which is the base unit in the international system of units. Other units of time are derived from the second and include minutes, hours, day, week, month, and year. Let's now start our conversion. Part 1. Seconds to minutes and vice versa. A. Seconds to minutes. In 60 seconds is 1 minute. Remember, when converting smaller to larger units, you should use division. When converting larger to smaller units, you will use multiplication. This is our formula. Seconds divided by 60 is minute. Let's have this problem. A student is practicing for a running competition and times their sprint, which lasts for 300 seconds. To track their progress in minutes, they need to convert their time. So how many minutes are there in 300 seconds? Again, our formula is seconds divided by 60 equals minutes. So 300 divided by 60 equals minutes. Since the two given numbers are divisible by 10, we will omit these two zeros by both numbers. So the remaining numbers are 30 and 6. So 30 divided by 6 is 5. So the answer is 5 minutes. A cook is timing the boiling of eggs, which takes 420 seconds. They want to know how many minutes it will take. So 420 divided by 60 is... Let's omit these two zeros. 42 divided by 6 is 7 minutes. B. Minutes to seconds. In 1 minute, there are 60 seconds. So this time, we will use multiplication. Minutes times 60 equals seconds. Let's have these problems. A teacher plans a quick activity for their class, lasting exactly 5 minutes. They need to set a timer in seconds to avoid interruptions. So how many seconds are there in 5 minutes? So 5 times 60 is 300 seconds. A baker needs to bake cookies for 8 minutes. But their timer only allows settings in seconds. They need to convert the baking time in seconds. 8 times 60 is 480 seconds. Let's try! 6 minutes 9 minutes 600 seconds 240 seconds Part 2 Minutes to hours and vice versa A minutes to hours in 60 minutes is one hour this is our formula minutes divided by 60 is hour let's have these problems a bus driver tracks their total driving time in minutes and finds that they drove for 180 minutes they want to know the time in hours to record it on their log sheet so 180 divided by 60 is 3 hours. A student spends 150 minutes studying for an exam. They want to know how many hours they spent studying. 150 divided by 60 is 2 remainder 30. 2 as our whole number is our hours and the remaining 30 is our minutes. So the answer is 2 hours and 30 minutes. B. 1 hour is 60 minutes. 
So R times 60 is minutes. Emma is having a movie night with her family. They plan to watch a movie that lasts for 2 hours. Emma wants to know how many minutes the movie will take so she can prepare some popcorn. So 2 hours is how many minutes? 2 times 60 is 120 minutes. Liam is practicing his guitar for 1 hour and 15 minutes. He wants to tell his friend how long he practiced in just minutes. So 1 hour and 15 minutes equals how many minutes? So let's move 15 minutes first. Let's focus first in 1 hour. So 1 hour times 60 is 60 minutes. We have this 15 minutes as our given. So we will just add them both. 60 plus 15 is 75 minutes. Let's try. 9 hours 4 hours and 10 minutes 1,200 minutes 200 minutes Part 3 Hours to days and vice versa A. Hours to days 24 hours is exactly one day. So our formula is hours divided by 24 equals day. Sophie is going on a camping trip that will last for 48 hours. She wants to know how many days she will be camping so she can tell her friends. So 48 divided by 24 is 2 days. Ben has a school project that he can work on for 36 hours over the weekend. He wants to find out how many days that it's to plan his time. So 36 divided by 24 is 1 remainder 12. So the answer is 1 day and 12 hours. B. 1 day is equal to 24 hours. So our formula is day times 24 equals hours. Maya is excited for her birthday party, which is in 3 days. She wants to know how many hours she has to wait until her birthday party. So 3 times 24 is 72 hours. Jake's family is going on a road trip that will last for 2 days. He wants to know how many hours they will be traveling so he can plan what games to bring. So 2 days times 24 is 48 hours. Let's try. 5 days 4 days 72 hours 168 hours Part 4 Days to weeks and vice versa In 7 days is exactly 1 week So days divided by 7 is week Ella's family is going on vacation for 14 days She wants to know how many weeks they will be away so she can tell her classmates So 14 days divided by 7 is 2 weeks Leia's summer camp lasts for 21 days and he wants to know how many weeks he'll be at camp. 21 days divided by 7 is 3 weeks. B. 1 week is 7 days. So the formula is week times 7 equals days. Sarah has swimming lessons every day for 2 weeks. She wants to know how many days she'll be going to swimming lessons in total. So 2 weeks times 7 is 14 days. Tom's family is hosting his cousin for 3 weeks and is curious how many days his cousin will be staying with them. 3 weeks times 7 is 21 days. Let's try. 2 weeks. 
5 weeks. 49 days. 70 days. Part 5. Weeks to months and vice versa. A. Weeks to months. 4 weeks is exactly 1 month. Weeks divided by 4 equals month. Let's have these problems. Lily has been practicing the piano for 8 weeks and wonders how many months he's been practicing. So 8 weeks divided by 4 is 2 months. Some's family is planning for 12-week renovation for their house. And he wants to know how many months it will take to finish. So 12 divided by 4 is 3 months. B. Months to weeks. 1 month is equal to 4 weeks. Or month times 4 equals weeks. Mia's puppy training class lasts for 2 months. And she wants to know how many weeks she'll be attending. So 2 months times 4 is 8 weeks. Jack's soccer season lasts for 3 months. And he wants to know how many weeks he'll be playing soccer. 3 months times 4 is 12 weeks. Let's try. 4 months. 5 months. 24 weeks. 48 weeks. Part 6. Months to years and vice versa. 12 months is 1 year. So months divided by 12 is year. Sophie has been learning ballet for 24 months. And she wants to know how many years she has been practicing. So 24 months divided by 12 is 2 years. Liam's family has been saving money for a big vacation for 18 months. And he wants to know how many years they have been saving. 18 months divided by 12 is 1 remainder 6 or 1 year and 6 months. B. Years to months. 1 year is exactly 12 months. Year times 12 equals months. Emma's little sister is 3 years old. And Emma wants to know her age in months so she can tell her friends. 3 years times 12 equals 36 months. Jake's family has lived in their new house for 2 years. And he wants to know how many months they have been there. 2 years times 12 equals 24 months. Let's try. 5 years 4 years 74 months 36 months Activity time! Activity number 1 Convert the following time measurements seconds to minutes and vice versa Here are the answers. Activity number 2. Convert each measurement from minutes to hours and vice versa. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Convert each measurement from hours to days and vice versa. Here are the answers. Activity number 4. Convert each measurement from days to weeks and vice versa.
Here are the answers. Activity number 5. Convert each measurement from weeks to months, and vice versa. Here are the answers. Activity number 6. Convert each measurement from months to years, and vice versa. Here are the answers. Always remember, when converting time measures, remember that moving from smaller to larger units involves div dividing by the appropriate factor. But converting from larger to smaller units requires multiplying by that factor. Common conversions include 60 seconds in minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day. Keep these relationships in mind for accurate calculations. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!